So do let me know if you can hear me properly as we jump back into Half-Life. Classic shooting game where today we will be answering the question, what if Surf really is tension? Oh no, who is shooting at me? It's very- it's just so noisy out here today. I also straight up have not played this in like a week since I last streamed, so if I die relentlessly that's, um, really nobody's fault but mine. Ah, big lads. I did actually spend like an hour earlier playing Doom of all things, so, you know. If I was, um, not mouse looking and was in fact controlling my movements- oh hi guys! Welcome to the explosions. Did he kick me? <laughs> the absolute galaxy brain on that man. You know, 10,000 hours of, of careful American military training and what does it get you? It gets you the man who kicks you instead of exploding you with his bullets. Oh, congratulations. Um, like I said, I haven't streamed in like a week, as I've not been very well. But uh, yeah, this is actually after the rocket launch. We have launched rockets and um, launched grenades, launched a wide variety of explosives into a wide variety of people's faces. Uh, I assume Vorticorns are people. We don't know that in this game at this stage, technically, but we will eventually discover that they are. Oh, can I hit those guys? It doesn't look like I can actually break anything with this, so I'm not sure what it's here for. Like, I'm not one to disparage a good set of explosions, and also I'm absolutely about to die. <laughs> okay, maybe I should actually kill these guys with something more effective this time. Well, that did nothing. Oh, disintegrated. Much better. Now we just wait for these two dipshits to land in my can- I could have put a landmine! That would have been smart. You know, the remarkable ability of Gordon Freeman to see the future, having done stuff previously. I, oh, I thought there'd be a crank here. It says fuel room. Is, um, just relentlessly powerful. Like, I've talked about this previously on previous Let's Plays, previous streams, previous all sorts of things, but the ability we're granted in almost all video games to traverse through the, you know, steamy fronds of time, and there's a phrase for you, and um, perceive the future. Either because you played the game before or because you just died and respawned. No one ever acknowledges this, but every single FPS protagonist has time powers. Except for the tiny handful of roguelike FPSs that now exist. Oh, you mean this one? Well, that's definitely the uh, solution to a puzzle I didn't know was a puzzle yet, because I haven't looked down here. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, Barney, fucking hell. You know this is like the third time you've nearly convinced me to shoot you in the fucking face, right? Is he saying something? Ah, oh, Jesus. Yeah, good job. I thought you were killing me. I was about to I was about to pop one in right between the eyes, but let's go. You you come in? There we go. Come on, I'll save you. It's fine. Let's ignore for a second that he saved me. Did I save Barney or did Barney save me? This is what this is what people say about their pet dogs, but um I'm not above infantilizing a man with a gun. Unwise as that may be. Did they kill the grunts? They did. Well, I wouldn't want to be this guy. Haha! <laughs> I love the squiggly wiggly animations for this thing. I don't think it ever. Oh, can I actually smash that? Oh, okay. He's just. He's just completely fine. Man next to him goes all to pieces, and he's just like, no, I'm okay with this actually. This is. This is fine with me. This is a complete waste of a rocket. Why can't we just be friends? I insect that they'll be nice to me later, that, that's nothing.
Gordon Freeman, the world's most inefficient fighter. Let's pretend it's his fault, not mine. I'm just going to straight up put a landmine there this time. I think they land on roughly this spot here. Then I have to remember not to get in the way of it. <laughs> what the? Who made it explode? Was it you? This is awful. This is the this is the opposite of a, of a Christmas present. You know when you unwrap the big present under the tree on Christmas morning and there's just an explosion in it? A landmine directly into your face? <sighs> That's the experience I've just had. Oh hey, I bet I can shotgun the next one. And he does not care. Abs of steel, this man. Absolute ironclad wonder. Uh, no, come with me, please. We've got more men's for you to shoot. It is interesting the way that this game... Again, I've mentioned this so many times, but like... The way it just... Barney, are you alright? He's fine, he's not. He's not bothered by it at all. He's um, He's been exploded plenty of times. Can't go jump over that. He's not going to be fine by the time I get around this corner, but that's his problem and not mine. Haha! Haha! I've defeated your soldier puzzle. Now, can I actually explode that fucking Harry? What is that? It's a VTOL. I never remember the names of the damn things. One of the many ways in which Half Life was genuinely revolutionary at its time, and I think I'm wasting these. Oh, no, there we go. I, uh, oh, I see how it is. Uh, this is the longest it's taken me to get through an area, so- <gasps> I have this thing! I bet this thing will solve my problems. This is, I think, the longest it's taken me to get through an area since I started doing these streams. So, one of the curious things about it as a system is the... Uh, yeah, an Osprey, that's what it's called. Also remarkably fitting. But, um... I keep forgetting about this game. One of the interesting things about this game and its position in the history of the design of first-person shooters is that in addition to all of the other components it added, all of the other clever ideas it had, all of the other ways it allowed you to interact with an environment in, you know, that no one had ever really been doing previously. It does have this assumption that you'll just think to do stuff that nobody's ever really done in FPSs and that you therefore have no reason to think is even possible. You know, if you've mostly been playing Quake 2 or whatever, you don't necessarily come to Half-Life 2 with the expectation... Actually, when was... Was Quake 2 before or after? It must have been before. Um, you don't really come to it with this expectation that you'll be able to blow doors open or explode holes in the wall or interact with emplacements or vehicles or any of this kind of stuff. I think it was a, I think it was a year or so. Because... Ah, dick. Oh, does he open that door for me? Yeah, no, Half-Life just completely revolutionised everything. Um, grenade to meet you. I can't hear myself think over the noise of murdering these guys five times in a row. Oh, I could just... what if I just... Well, that won't help me now. Right, I'm gonna actually just solve my problems in advance. <laughs> That's what the thinking man does. You know, great physicist, um, Gordon Freeman, definitely clever enough to think, maybe I should kill this while I have the chance. Maybe I should fill it full of explosion holes. Maybe I should just blast away like a, you know, like a man who doesn't have to worry about how many rockets he has. I can definitely hear stuff on the other side over there. I love the squibbly squibbly noises they make. Quake 2 was actually supposed to be 
uh, more of a step forwards than it was. They had a lot of highfalutin ideas that they then did not particularly make good on. Uh, mostly which were about kind of improving the shooter as it existed then, rather than about kind of completely revolutionising it and making something new. Well, not making something new, but making a, a whole new way of doing first-person shooters, which is, of course, what I will not shut up about um, Half-Life doing. And remember to quick save this time. <laughs> yes, it's very um, zen in the art of the uh, hand grenade. Achieve enlightenment through sending other people to the afterlife. Oh, he had the door, the door that he opens for me that I have forgotten all about. What have you got for me? Good stuff. This looks like good stuff. Yeah, we all know how well that went. Die katana, more like die katana. I've never actually played Daikatana, but I've always kind of meant to. In fact, I've just recently gotten... <laughs> I've watched a ton of videos about uh, just old school FPSs overall, like across the board, and I just really want to get back into them. It's been so long since I actually properly played some. I went through and played um, most of... In fact, I know, I played all of Quake 2 earlier this year. Or maybe last year? Oh, interesting. I think these guys are starting to set up some kind of home companion. Like, I don't know about you, but whenever I whenever I show up in a new place, I start to extrude various uh, fluids, various kinds of mucus, in, in nice little piles until I can make a, a safe nest that smells exactly like me and all of my all of my brood siblings. It's just so much more comfortable when you when you visit someone else's home to start building a hive structure into their walls. Like, it's... Uh, honestly, it's, um, frankly rude that they don't provide the capacity for you to just do that in general. I wonder if the suit's more effective against protecting against their lightning bolts than it is against bullets, since it's, like, energy shielding to some extent, anti-radiation. You would not believe... You would not believe how stuck I got here the first time I ever played this game. Because the other thing about me and, like, old school shooters is that I really like shooters as a genre. And I missed basically all of them. Where's that grenade guy? I had Quake 2 on the PlayStation 1, astonishingly. And I had... And that was basically it. I jumped straight to Half-Life 2. Um, and, and Halo, one of those other classics. Can I get these? I would really like- there we go. Before I ever actually went back and played any of them. And I was terrible at Quake 2 as a kid. So I very much would like to actually let you- what the fuck am I saying? I'm so sleepy today. <laughs> I was tempted to skip streaming again but it's been like a week so I really didn't want to. I think I missed something up there but I don't know or care. Best weapon for vents, shotgun. Well, maybe not. <laughs> Submachine gun would have done it better. How many of these fucking things are there in here? Does it keep spawning them? But yeah, so I've just I've been recently learning learning so much stuff about them. Just classic FPSs and the modern revivals of it, the, the modern retro FPS genre. So I've, I've actually, I, that's why I downloaded Doom earlier today. I've, I realised I'd never actually played the original Doom. As much as I love... As much as I love FPSs and as much as I've played an absolute ton of subsequent FPSs, I've never actually... Go oh, my pretties. Yes, excellent work, Jimmy, make him fall down. Now the next one. <laughs> Wait, shit, now I have to go down there. For some reason I always forget that they explode. But yeah, I do wonder how much of this is stuff that alien stuff has started to intentionally grow in this area and how much of it is just like... Well, you know, guess what? Oh, the... 
Oh, did I crush a guy? <laughs> Whoops. Sorry, buddy. You know, it's it was they called it really inefficient when they decided to incorporate the uh, the vehicle bays into the the chunky salsa meat system for the meat vents. So so unique to the Black Mesa facility. One of the one of the really interesting architectural features of. Well, I'm glad I wasn't that stupid. What a mess. <laughs> can I get can I get back up into that? Is that Every time I hear some a distant thump, I'm like, is that gonna kill me? Oh what the fuck was I talking about? Oh yeah, the meat vents. It was really interesting the ah, what dip? Did it just ricochet me? That's gotta be the- oh, I bet I can get out through that hole, right? That's what I need to do. I always forgot, this game's all about holes. You know, crawling through slimy vents, making my own holes, putting things in them, usually bullets. Ah, oh, dip. <laughs> For a moment there, I was just like, hey, is it just me or is that thing getting larger? <laughs> as it flew through the air towards my face. Hup. Uh, nothing in there. But yeah, like I like the idea that it is just like the teleporter teleporting everything, teleported stuff. And occasionally that stuff is mucus-based architecture, which I believe was my dad's university specialization. These bees are hard to dodge. Which is not surprising because they are bees. All right, let's see if I can avoid dying horribly this time. In fact, why don't I just, I can just, I can just pop people in the head. I keep forgetting that I have the capacity to actually inflict murder from a long ra range. That's a weird glitch. It's happened twice now. Anyway, um. So yeah, I've actually been, I've been vaguely planning to actually properly get back get into that stuff so when I'm done with doom I think I'll move on to doom 2 and then probably hexen and blood I might try playing um shadow warrior but my god it's racist so I might just completely skip it um and then I'll probably be extremely bored of it as, as soon as I got into watching the, all these uh, cool videos about all these cool, old, interesting video games, I'm like, wow, these are really interesting and there's a lot to learn about them and that's fascinating. And as is always universally the case, when I, whenever I get especially interested in something, that interest will last about two or three weeks. <laughs> and then I will be like, no, I'm done with this now. I'm always like, oh, I should pivot my channel. I should just completely change my channel and start being a... Start exclusively doing... Um, you know, classic retro FPSs, and I do. I just I know what I'm like, so I know that a few a few weeks or a month later, I'll be like, "Well, this was a mistake," and I'm better off staying the idiosyncratic. Watch me do literary criticism very slightly, while also shooting these guys in their remarkably strong abs. Because you gotta you gotta bear in mind, these guys have been given armor on their shoulders and their necks and their feet, but none whatsoever on those abs. You know, maybe their bosses were just like, well, we have to limit their ouch power somehow, otherwise they'll be too powerful, so... Just remember to shoot them in the chest if they ever try and have an uprising, but I believe that their bosses are just like, well, there's, there's no point armouring this bit. <laughs> have you seen? They're shredded. Entire army of gym bros. Can I make this in one jump? Ah, uh, I can. <laughs> Once again, good at platforming, worse at shooting. Yeah, I do like that idea. All of the guys who came back had shoulder or arm or leg wounds. Nobody got shot in the gut <laughs> ever came back. <laughs> so clearly they're only ever getting wounded in those spots. This actually, this feels like the way I'm supposed to go, so I'm gonna go back and see if I missed something. Because there was definitely some kind of a passageway over here. Yes, like some kind of streaming Voltron. 
I would, um, I'm, I'm not actually bad at FPSs, you know, I, uh, earlier this year I, I played through, um, Halo Master Chief Collection on the harder difficulties just because it's nostalgic. I used to play, th I used to challenge myself once a year to play through the entire Halo series on Legendary. <laughs> um, Doom Eternal though, that slapped. I played that on the hard difficulties too, you know, not just, I'm not like flexing or whatever because there's no real way for, to me, for me to verify this because despite the fact that I am a gaming YouTuber and now a streamer, I, I play a lot of games I don't record myself playing and um, it's all the tough ones, you know. I beat Sekiro in like three days on my second attempt <laughs> and recorded absolutely none of it. Oh, see, the thing about driving cars is it is the one gaming thing I cannot fucking do. I can platform, I can stealth, I can FPS, I can I can do any of the gaming verbs except for driving. Every single driving game I've ever tried to get into, I've done absolutely terrible at. Just utter dog shit. I don't know what it is about them. There's something in my brain that just does not work. I just cannot drive stick. Uh, or indeed drive automatic, or indeed drive at all whatsoever, which is probably probably means it's a good thing I never learned to drive in real life if my inabilities to fucking drift in Mario Kart is anything to go by. Um, but like proper proper simulation races, arcade races, kart races, none of it. I'm just absolutely terrible at every single bit of it. That is the one and only kind of video game I will say I am bad at. Literally every every other thing imaginable I'll at least be mediocre. And sometimes outright great, but no, this absolutely not. <laughs> oh, we, what, did you watch me play? You didn't. Want, I, I beat Sekiro before we even met, I think. Ooh, shotgun. Door. Door. No, no door. Okay. Goodbye, door. I mean, I, I grew up on racing games, you know? One of the three games that came with my with my second-hand PlayStation 1 when I was a kid was the first Gran Turismo, and I think one of the second games we ever got, maybe, was uh, was a, a weird Super Mario uh, kart racer knockoff called Speed Freaks, which was really fun. But I was very bad at it. I've just always been really bad at it. In fact, I heard that... Um, the driver reboot of something like eight years ago, Driver San Francisco, was a really good entry point for people who want to get into the more simulationist driving games, and I've, and I've only really played the more arcadey ones. And I thought, let's have a go on that. And I bought it and I played it for an hour, and I couldn't get out of the tutorial. And then it released me finally into the open world, and I failed the first mission over and over for another hour. And I just, I was just donezo at that point. Okay, maybe that was the maybe that was the third time I, I went into Sekiro. Or the second time? Oh, that's gonna explode. This looks bad. This looks really bad. <laughs> well, I'm glad that they give you a checkpoint there, although that's kind of a mean trap. Uh there we go. How far do I have to go to get them to trigger the there we go. I, I bet I could headshot that guy before he drops the thing. You got another one, babes? Got another one, Billy Bob Bomb Boy? Got another one, James Explosion? Got another one, have you bollocks? Is that the- do they just get one each? Also, why was that one so much more explosive than the others? Is this pipe full of gas? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Maybe it is full of gas. Yes, my pretties. Excellent work. Now, hold him still while I line up this shot. Or just kill him, that's fine too. Ow, dicks. That's not... You do my bidding. You do not eat my brain face type situation, which is not a sentence most humans will say, generally speaking. I don't know what this crank does, but I'm going to crank it anyway. I'm doing a lot of cranking it lately. Ah, yes, that makes sense. What? I'm just wasting this. 
I don't even know if it is possible to waste it. I assume that it does just doesn't just doesn't consume it if you press the, the button when you're not actually receiving any any juice because you're at 100 juice points. Actually, you know that's what Half Life needed for a game that is a weird mix of holdovers from the pre-existing FPS genre and fascinating new ideas being brought into the FPS genre. It really does. It really is disappointing that they did not gather the overcharge your health system. <laughs> oh, Duke Nukem, that's actually another- Fuck you, I'm talking about Duke Nukem. Now is not the time. The refresh time on the shotgun I actually find really fr- Did he explode? Are they equipping the soldiers with dead men's devices now? But yeah, Duke Nukem's on the, on the list as well. Um, I'm not going to try and do some kind of John St. John impression. Not because I don't think I can, but because I worry I'd, worry I'd be too good at it. Now, what the fuck was I talking about? I had a, I had a whole spiel I was going to go off on about um, one particular interesting aspect of the way that it is changed between something don't don't you know what don't get into streaming if you have adhd it's extremely it's an extremely bad idea if you have if you, if you just forget what the fuck you're talking about every three seconds forever much like this guy you know that's a little bit of his memory here i think that's hypothalamus that looks like speech center i'm not really sure am i going to explode if i come down here again How about that clutch headshot? There is something vaguely terrifying about Gordon Freeman and his and his unstoppability. This, uh, you know, Terminator-esque metal man just walking at you while bullets bounce off of his ridiculous science facility branded power armor. Stand back. Buddy, I nearly shot you again. Hello. But what happened? Why, what happened to your? Why is there just an empty desk in this room and nothing else? Okay, I'll cover you. Can you open a door for me and not die on the way? Is that hole that? That's my hole. That's the hole that was made specifically for me. Now go press that button and don't die from whatever's on the other side of the door. Okay. You can do it. I trust you, buddy. Well, well beeped. You, you did a good job. Come here, and I'll give you. I'll pat you on the head gently. I'm glad you're down for that. <laughs> oh, I remember where this is. I've been here before. Oop. Don't worry, everybody. That was full of lie down gas. It's just gently putting them all to sleep. Birdie? Barney? Barney number seven? I name all of my friends Barney, don't worry about it. There's no reason why I do that. It's just it just saves time. Yeah, see that's that's interesting the way they blend the previous ideas with new ideas as well as also just coming up with all of these new ideas. But I remember what I was going to talk about and it's the way that um Oh, it's that door, okay. The linear storytelling blends into their desire to actually do storytelling with the level design kind of parameters of of the genre as it previously oh that doesn't look good previously existed oh big lad okay i see how it is i'm gonna run over here and hide So, this game is, is, it suffers from one of, like, the biggest, in my opinion, sins of narrative game design over the course of the last brr, however many years. Um, in fact, one of the, uh, one of the sins that was kind of founded by Half-Life, that exists primarily because of Half-Life and its success, as soon as, as soon as the games industry en masse started aping everything that Half-Life did, uh, okay. 
That's a bit of a weird way to make that work, but whatever. There we go. Gordon Freeman standing here like, oh, it's not just a puzzle, it's an explosions puzzle. So I definitely remember this one from when I played it previously. You can target an area and then make it do an explosion, um, including yourself if you're not careful, which is what I'm about to do if I don't. Uh, which way's north? That must be that, right? So he's over there. So if I bring that over there, over like there, that should hit him, I think. Let's see how well we did. Oh, direct hit! <laughs> oh, eat shit and die, Jimmy Firehands. I bet I can. I bet I can make some kind of shortcuts for myself as well. There's probably something juicy in that hut over there. Let's see what we can achieve with this fascinatingly new technology at our hands. I mean, I assume that they just have a bunch of howitzers on the next hill over. It's the US Army. They probably don't go anywhere without howitzers. And no, I don't know if howitzer is a generic term or a term for a specific piece of equipment or whether or not the Americans ever actually used them. Because, um... I'm not that kind of nerd, unfortunately. But mainly because I cannot remember proper nouns. Just across the board, I always forget them, so I never bother to try and learn them anymore. Follow for this and more. ADHD tips. Ow. It's such a kind of a dick move to make these jump pads throw you up high enough that you take damage from the fall. But yeah, so this, this game design sin, or at least narrative design sin that I'm talking about is... That transformer box was threatening me. It had a, it had a rifle. Um... It's this kind of... I do love the suit comments. In fact, I really like the voice. I like how inhuman and robotic it is. It's one of the few, like... Um, what are they called? Like a a cockpit Betty or something? The, 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 the voice reminders that, that pilots get. Well, I don't remember. Can I get up here? No, I cannot. How do I get over there? I bet I can just jump. It's probably fine. <laughs> Well, no, that failed. What a fascinating idea. Because that seems so counterintuitive. It, like, it's bound to miss, right? I think I need to knock this thing down, but I don't know. Did I miss when I tried to use the thing on it? Why do they even have this thing up here if I can't get up to the top with it? Whoop. Oh, that's better at least. Let's try it now. Also, I like that they don't have any kind of call sign confirmation or anything. Oh, that did it. Um, you know, just as long as you press the button, it's... Oh, I smashed that hole as well. Never forget to smash that hole whenever you get the chance. I've been kind of filthy today. A lot of, a lot of talk of smashing holes and cranking it and... Various other euphemisms for doing sex things. That missed. <laughs> it's uh, kind of a kind of a finicky system. Speaking of smashing that like button, do if you haven't already, give me a give me one, give me an old subscribe or follow. I think it is on here. I don't I don't care for the subscription system. It seems like a spectacularly inefficient way to give people that you like money. Old Jeffy B taking almost all of it. Alpha, how many times do I have to fucking... Ugh. Is this the world's most inconvenient way in? Which actually brings me back to the point that I keep rambling about and starting to talk about and never actually finishing my sentences. Namely, that in my opinion, one of the narrative sins committed by linear narrative games like this um, is that generally speaking, the player does stuff that doesn't make any fucking sense. Constantly. The player character just instinctively because you are game literate and have played a lot of games you know what you have to do as the player which means that the player character is constantly doing unintuitive shit for no reason 
that doesn't make any sense, and I think this ceiling is going to fall on me in a minute. There's so many games characters who do stuff like crawling through a weird hole, even though logically they have no reason to think that hole will go anywhere useful. However, the player knows, well, I've explored every other alleyway, and there's no other way for me to pass. There's no way I can get through here, therefore, what am I supposed to do? The only thing I can do is crawl through the hole, so I guess I'll crawl through the hole. This is so dumb. This is like a falling block puzzle. You have to like jump up them after they fall down, but they fall down in a specific order that lets you like climb up, I think. Unless I've misremembered that completely and I'm about to submit myself to a slow death. <laughs> well, what if I just sprint through? Well, that ain't gonna do it. If I charge up my this thing and go backwards, can I get through that corner? <laughs> I'm a fucking genius, lads. I'm so good at this. Is that what you're supposed to do? I have no idea. I don't care for this man. It's noisy as hell out there. How are you actually supposed to do that? <laughs> Whoa, big lad. Can it see me or are we cool? I think we're cool. Did I turn it on by using that crank? <laughs> it's the first time anyone's ever used physics skills as Gordon Freeman. That thing's gonna shoot me. Oh, it's gonna shoot me, isn't it? What a weirdly squelchy sound effect. So what exactly- did this thing explode you for no reason? Were you antagonising the turrets again? Honestly, I can't take you anywhere. Oh, I tried to jump on the railing and it didn't work. So I instead used my enormous brain to solve the problem in another way. I love being a hominid. Unlike that guy. Now's not the time to reload, Dr. Freeman. Now's the time to provoke melee attacks so that you don't die from bees. I'm, I'm absolutely dead here. <sighs> right, what the fuck was I talking about? Right, so... Very often you find the protagonists of linear games just doing incredibly incomprehensible things that don't make any sense. I don't know if this bothers people in general, but for me it's always taken me out of immersion because it doesn't- it's just so weird. You know, why would you crawl through that hole? Why would you decide to, you know, do some other stupid bullshit instead of, um, behaving like a normal person and, um, simply accepting that you're stuck in a concrete room. And the thing is, even worse, very often games don't even signpost that stuff. You find your- if you are- if you are the kind of person who plays a lot of games, you find yourself doing it on instinct because you just instinctively observe, well there's nowhere else for me to go, therefore the way I have to go is this incredibly stupid way. So then you throw yourself into the toxic poison, or you crawl into a vent, which- or worst of all, you know, you're in a collapsing building and you know, three of the weird little vent holes are, you know, the little weird passageways that you can fit through are blocked off by falling debris and, you know, the or, or invisible walls, you know. And then the only way you can go is to is to go through a third hole. There's no reason to think that's going to lead you outside. It's not to the person in that world. It's not a um, a planned exit. It's not. It's not something that someone has decided to fit that way. And so presumably it just comes down to desperation and and it's a matter of well i have to get through somehow oh oh dip no i'm not interested today mommy's very tired you're going to have to entertain yourself somehow else please just leave me alone to my wine why haven't they exploded yet there we go that's more like it <laughs> 
I bet I'd get more followers if I called myself Mommy more often. Well, yeah, I'm saying, I'm not saying you shouldn't look in the small hole if you're trapped in a concrete room. I'm just, you know, there's often a bolted door or something and it's like, well, was this, this was the way I came, yeah. These things super look like they suck to touch. I'm going to assume that if I attempt to touch one of those, it's going to be a bad time. Hey, I just had an idea. I wonder if that'll kill them. Nope. I bet if I put a landmine there and then pop it open, that would work, though. Snark versus Snark was actually a- what the fuck was that? Is there another guy up here? I love those crunchy lightning blasts. Really good sounds. Hey, could you, could you stand next to this crate for me? Thanks. Were these guys here, or did that explosion move him, like, six feet? Let's see if this works this time. Let's just dip over here with this gently- Oh, whoops, I fucked up. <laughs> That's not quite what I meant to do. Well, I mean, my plan would have worked. If I wasn't so stupid. Ooh, a crank. Ow, dip. Leave me alone. I have no interest in my children today. I think that um, using really crunchy audio just makes it feel more impactful. I think it's generally a good idea. All right, this should work a bit better this time. Well, you know, it might do nothing. I suppose they're too small to actually trigger the, the thing. What I should do is just aim carefully so that I can smash the thing and then also explode the thing. <laughs> that one completely... That one managed to dive straight through the buckshot flying through the air like some kind of small insectile John Woo. Or I suppose John Woo character. <laughs> Ow, dicks. As always, hubris. I should probably get rid of that one first, actually. If I... Hmm. Can I pick these back up again? Nope. Alright, I'm gonna have to solve my own problems. Explosives! The source of, and solution to, all of life's little mysteries. Oops. That didn't time very well. Can I just... Oh, that's way more efficient. Oh no, it's not. They explode. Fuck. Okay, so if I shoot them with bullets, it doesn't cause problems. And if I smash them with crowbar, it does cause problems. This is uh, another part of the fascinating and ongoing life experiences. How do I get that stuff? Did I screw up in some way and now I can't get through? Or can I just... You've got to be kidding me. Oh. Nice job, though. That's the first time I've fallen for one of these things. Like, basically ever. Also, I have no idea if people have been saying things in the last few minutes because my phone has decided to disconnect from my stream manager. Which just goes to show that I really need to fucking just get around to actually installing the second screen I happen to have on the other side of the room and actually put it somewhere useful. But you know what? That's a smart person's thing to do and I'm an idiot. Except when I'm a genius, which was we've established already is very often. I keep having these genius ideas and they keep not working. Rodeoing around these things is pretty fun, though. Oh, seriously? I did not think I was close enough to get hit by that. Well, back to this fight, I guess. Ah, oh, it's been a while since I quick saved. I 
guess that's why they recommend quick saving. It's like saving but a lot faster. So you don't have to worry about going back forever if you die. You know, it kind of sucks for these guys that they aren't issued with, like, grenades or whatever. It kind of sucks for this guy that I put a lot of very sharp small pieces of metal in his face. Good for me, bad for him. Can I get back up there? I think there might have been some healing that I now need. Oh, nope, nothing that way. Hop. <laughs> Crouch jumping through windows is just my favourite thing in the world. I don't know why. It's just so silly and yet satisfying. The crouch jump in this is very similar to the coil in um, in Mirror's Edge, actually. I doubt that there's a direct actual mechanical through line there. I doubt that, you know, the designers of Mirror's Edge... You know what? I'm just going to not... I'm just going to... Can I just walk past this? I bet it'll hurt. <laughs> Maybe it pops open if, if it gets disturbed. I bet that's what's going to happen. How do these things do so much damage? Well, they're stuck down there now, so that's the solution to my problem. And by extension, everyone else is. Since we by now know that really Gordon only cares about himself. Does this just lead to the same place? It just this just leads to the same place. Why is that staircase here? What purpose do you serve? You're just you're just a trap to make me waste bullets. I disapprove. I wonder if it would be possible to Oh fix. I wonder if it would be possible. <laughs> I wonder if it would be possible to dix. You know, maybe if we try really hard, someday we can dix. Perhaps if we all work together, dix. Bet I'm standing too close to that this time. But hey, guess what? This time I remember to quick save. The inability to set it off in one hit is what's causing my problems. Oh, thank you. That's so sweet. Thank you so much. Uh, if you do want to watch this again, it will be archived on my on my YouTube channel at some point. Or, not again. If you do want to watch this having missed it today, it will eventually be on my YouTube channel. I'm a few, I'm a few days behind, but you think I would have caught up since it's been a week since I last streamed. But you never know. See if I can just Ha, huh, fantastic. Whew. I mean, it's funny that you say that when if you look carefully, these guys just have wiggly little grabby dicks sticking out of their fronts. I know a lot of people say it's a hand, but let's be honest, that right there. Alien Wang. Creepy extra dimensional donger. There are other words that mean penis. Let's see. I'm, I'm not going to give up. I'm going to keep trying this until I get it right. It's the only use I've I've figured out for trip mines, I say, having not successfully made it actually do what I'm trying to get it to do. Literally ever. This is probably a waste, but... Wow, that didn't break it. <gasps> okay, well... <laughs> I think that kind of answers my question for me. Jeezy crazy, leave me the fuck alone. I was not expecting I was not expecting the tiny self-immolating squibbly weebly little guys to be the most frustrating enemy I've fought in this game so far, I'll tell you that for free. Oh, nearly fell for it again. <laughs> You're up to your old tricks. Yeah, it's just the delay is what I thought the um, what I thought the uh, the landmine might help me with. What if I just okay? What if I'm really carefully with lining it up this time? What if I put it really low down and I put a couple of them? 
then I crack this baby open. Are they just not- maybe they're just not big enough to trigger it. Maybe they just don't break the, uh, the wire, I guess? The trip wire? That'd be cool. Oh, the- Okay, they've just fucked off somewhere else. Fine, be that way. I don't care about my little babies anymore, even if they do feel strong enough to leave mama. To get out the nest. Now how the fuck did that not kill me? I've definitely stood further away and been hurt. Oh, this looks like a fun encounter. I think I'm about to get murdered. Did we figure out what this gun even fires? This is the Tau Cannon. Did we figure out if it was a directed energy radio waves device or a... Some kind of particle accelerator or a... Oh yeah, no, it's a portable particle accelerator. That's what it is. So, um... Enjoy having protons where all of your organs used to be, I guess, dude. Oh, I guess if it's called the Tau Cannons, it would be firing Tau Particles. That does, that does track. That actually is pretty smart. Wait, how can it be powered by depleted uranium? I thought depleted uranium is uranium that's no longer... Um, like usefully radioactive like it's it's lost all of its like i thought depleted uranium was like the toxic waste left over i am i am not a particle physicist unlike gordon freeman Tau particles are are the little grey bits of plastic that get left over all over the floor when you're when you're done putting your your army together playing Warhammer. This is a funny joke if you if you if you care about Warhammer at all. Hmm. How do I solve this box puzzle? I bet if I do this. Ah, it was that easy after all. But where the hell am I supposed to go now? <laughs> Oh wait, there was a crank. Once again, the mastery of the crank is the, the only true skill that we desperately actually need. Is there something hidden down here? Oh, worms! That's what's hidden down here. And a very small amount of armour. And I guess some grenades, which are worth having. Although, if those horrible little squiggly guys do take away my armour again, then what was the point of even having it? I'm glad this one isn't on springs like some of them seem to be. I know. Hang on a second. I've been ambushed before. I know how this works. Ow. <laughs> I may be my own worst enemy. No, I take it back. That's my worst enemy. Okay, well that's fine, probably. I think I can deal with that. Like this. Ha <laughs> ha! Ah, suck on that, huh? See? With a little bit of foreknowledge, you can overcome any problem. All it takes is the capacity to uh, experience your own death an infinite number of times while returning constantly to the previous state you experienced. Like some kind of zen cowboy. Ah, dick off. Suck my feet! Jesus fucking hell. I absolutely would be here for the, like, Quake mod version of Life is Strange. Which ties back in, I guess, to that thing I kept starting to talk about and maybe finishing. I'm not really sure at this stage. Is this safe water? This is fine water. This is this is blue water, which is the correct colour for water to be, and therefore not a problem. Whoop. It's not quite what I wanted. Can I hop up on this? Or do I need to get climb out and then jump over? I think I need to jump over, which is ridiculous. Whoop. Oh, I probably could have just crouch jumped from here and not had to fuck about with the box. 
would have been smarter. No one can see me if I'm underwater, right? <laughs> I can't see them, and then that means that they can't see me, right? You know, it's interesting that the iconic enemy of Half-Life, the single most, you know, recognisable creature from the entire- oh, fuck. From the entire setting, is the head crab. What is the only piece of Gordon's armour that's missing? Well, my friends, it is the helmet. Oh, now's not the time to reload? Fuck. I should have thought of that before I jumped in the water. Oh, um, thanks. This thing's gonna kill me. I could do without it resetting the, like, values on my, on my mouse look whenever it actually hits me. Well, well, I drowned. What an interesting way to go when you're being fought by a giant, horrible underwater monster. <laughs> I love it when they do their death animation in midair. Anyway, it is really fun to me that the, the iconic Half-Life enemy is the head crab and Gordon Freeman is the iconic man who is not wearing a helmet of video games. Doom Guy wearing a helmet. John Halo wearing a helmet. Samus Aran wearing a helmet. They're all wearing fucking helmets except this dipshit. Did someone just take his helmet this morning? Because the other two suits are missing. Or do the people of Black Mesa not realise that you also need not to get radiation in your face? Regardless of where else you don't get it. Well, they're the other two who have the, the suits, right? So... Where, the, where are they? Did Black Mesa just not bother to include the suits? The helmets, rather? Like, we know that they're very lax in a lot of their um, workplace safety and designs and architectural considerations and so on, but... Ow, dicks. Leave me alone. I'm just a physicist. I wasn't paid for this. I wasn't trained for any of this. I'm supposed to be fiddling with mass spectrometers. Oh, well, I don't want that to kill me. <laughs> Time to get gone, Freeman. Oh, hey, look. Here's an interesting, uh, an interesting similar, similar aspect. Gordon Freeman is one of the only people who's observed this phenomenon. The uh, Mid-collapse quantum state of the gun turret. A lot of research in Black Mesa went into developing these things. You know, the ability to blink out of ex- Fuck off! Yeah, I hope you like being gut shot. Fucking dipshit. Jesus Christ. Something tells me there's going to be guys up there who will try to kill me. I just just a hunch, you know, just a bit of an instinct based on based on having been through some experiences in the last twenty four hours. <laughs> There's no reason to assume Zen wouldn't have a breathable atmosphere. You know, if oxygen maybe oxygen is required, uh, an oxygen based atmosphere is required for the development of life forms in the complex way that we know them. If they are carbon based oxygen breathing life forms, then of course their world would be full of um, oxygen, so it's fine. Don't think about it too hard. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take a little peek. I'm just gonna stick my head up over the over the parapet and have a look. So that thing I was saying about the the way that this game Oh, ah, there they are. Move in. Oh shit, that's a tank. Go, my pretties. Solve my problems. Not like that. <laughs> so, yeah. The way that this uh, game solves its uh, problems, which is not what I meant to say. Okay, well, you can't run out of 50 cal. Uh, can't outrun a 50 cal, that's good to know. How can I best explode some men? Probably with this. And I'll hide behind here and then. And then the tank will shoot the rock instead of the me. 
Oh fuck, that man has grenades. Do they all have grenades? These guys suck ass. Honestly, if you could bat grenades back with the crowbar like a baseball, this game would be a thousand percent better. Well, ooh, is that a hint? Are you implying that the that the squeebly bibs are um are especially good against the big tank with its big tank cannon? Apparently not. So if it shoots me and misses, it'll hit the back wall behind me, which will be bad for me personally. Which means I have to not provoke it into throwing bombs at me when I'm standing near this wall, I guess? How the hell are you supposed to get through this? Wait, shit, can you actually bat the grenades back with the crowbar in Half-Life 2? Straight up, is that something you can do? Hi, Art. Welcome back to me dying horribly, just like I love to do. My favourite hobby, in fact. Oh, what if grenades? What if... What if grenades? They've solved all of my other problems. Maybe they'll solve this one too. I know there's another man over there somewhere. And he doesn't like to have grenades any more than the other guy. And if he throws a grenade at me, it'll probably just fall down this hole and then I'll be fine. I'm a genius. Can he hit me from there? I bet he can. <gasps> yes, fantastic. I love to abuse the AI in order to solve my problems without having to expose myself to any risk whatsoever. <laughs> well, I was making that a lot harder than I needed to, which is a phrase people often say around me. Um, oh, clever clogs. Not so clever as all that though, are you? Self-critical automaton. Smarter than an, auton than an autonomous gun turret with no brain. and other popular catchphrases. Emergency containment door engaged. Well, I'm not allowed in there, I guess. What's the point of even being a member of an extremely secretive and highly amoral research base if you aren't given the clearance to go see all the cool shit they have hidden down there? See, this is what I mean, like, it's... the linearity never makes sense in these kinds of games. Not just in terms of, like, hopping across, you know, hopping across poison vats when you really have no reason to, because, you know, there's, there's locked doors. We've shown that my shotgun is enough to blow open some grates, but there's just other ones that are like, no, you can't go that way. Why? Arbitrary reasons. That's ra radioactive as shit. As we all know, radioactivity is contact-based. If it's not touching you, it cannot cause all of your, uh, you know, important atoms to become ionised. Whatever the fuck else it is radiation does to kill people. It's a lot like lava in that respect. As long as you don't... Oh, hi there. Well, gee. Hi there, do you come here often? I, I don't have a follow-up for that line. I was going to say, would you like to, when I pull the trigger, but that doesn't make any sense. Unlike that guy who's going to be making quite a lot of sense now that he is chunky salsa in this, oh, like, 105 degree heat of the Arizona sun. Or Manitoba? That's not the right word. I can't remember American geography, and I shouldn't have to. The American hot cultural hegemony is more of a pain in my ass than anybody else's, I think. I say, ignoring everybody who's been killed for the interests of the American Empire. Let me see what I've got in my pocket for a good boy. Why? It's arrows! Now hold still so that I can have a good look at your tummy. That's... that's a penis, ladies and gentlemen, that is a penis. It's even got the little grabby bits to hold onto people with. I nearly said me, but I'm glad that I caught myself. Yeah, see, but like New Mexico and Arizona are like right next to each other, aren't they? <gasps> oh, can I climb inside that one? Is this another M1 Abrams or is this a smaller one? 
Like I said, I can never remember the correct nouns and keep track of what are and aren't different things. Wow, okay. So I can't climb inside, but I uh, can make use of one of the little known features of the HEV suit, which is the, um, you know, robotic extendo arms. To grab a hold and uh, reach on down inside and trigger the trigger the cannon, which I believe is more of like a forwards firing position inside the tank rather than something that someone can do from right inside this little hatch on top. But I might be wrong about that too. I'm basing that entirely on a... Uh, what are they called? Do you, does anyone else remember these things or, was, or are you too young? Because I know like a third of my user base is like zoomers. But um, when I was a kid we had these cool books that were like cutaways of interesting pieces of technology like the... Um, like the Titanic, and it would show you how all the different bits fit together. And I had one of those, and one of the pictures was of a tank, and for some reason, when they bisected the tank to show you how the top lifted off, it um, also had bisected the pilot, and you could see his intestines and stuff, and it was the only piece of gore in that entire book, and I really don't know why. <laughs> I really don't know why, I don't know what was up with that. Why would you put one piece of gore in? My favourite thing was playing spot the shitting guy, because whenever you looked at like a castle or a big boat or something, there would always be one guy taking a shit. Look. That looks that looks bad to be shot by. Well the local marine force isn't anything to do with Black Mesa. They're sent in um, from outside of Black Mesa. They're sent in by the army. They're not actually part of the Black Mesa forces. Uh, Black Mesa just has its own rent cops and then all of these spec ops guys are, uh, are their own thing, right? You know, now that you- th now- Yeah, now, actually, yeah, and- uh, I don't have a comeback for that. <laughs> <sighs> well, you heard, heard it here first. Gamers Against Weed's opinion is that the American military is based. I don't think any of the rest of us agree with that. Is that an alien turret then? Since this one does not seem to uh, be being shot at by it. Strafing! As important a skill in 1998 as it was in 1993, apparently. Did it make- did it do that? Did it make the wall fall down? That's some good turret. You know what that guy has? Turret's syndrome. Ah, now I've got rid of it. That's the important thing, to destroy everything that even gets close to me. <laughs> oh look, ab splatter. Literally every soldier dies today because at least Adrian Shepard lives through it. G-Man does something with him, but um, but it ain't murder, I don't think. Oh, this is the slowest reload animation on Earth. I could, I could use some hit points, I'll tell you what. All land landmines actually might be useful in this instance for the first time basically ever. Or not, if he's not actually going to move. Well, that was a waste of my only underslung grenade. To quote that, um, Shiny's comic, why does it have grabby bits to hold onto you with? Well, uh, that's me. That's me told, I guess. I'm just gonna jump straight to the satchel charges this time. They really do solve every problem. Like that guy, for example. Well, I guess the walls falling down has solved him, actually. Is he still a he's still alive? That's not fair. There was a satchel charge, that's supposed to kill him. What? What? Do they not attack? Do they not attack the alien grunts? I do find myself wondering if um I think that's because uh like real landmines aren't as like cool as fun video game landmines. 
which generally will be more usable and more entertaining. Unless you're playing Call of Duty and getting roughly 1,000 steel ball bearings in the face because some dipshit managed to get the... Managed to get the, uh, the upgrade that lets you have the uh, claymores. Play more, play less. As long as you clay, that's the important thing. Well, that did not go anywhere near where I wanted it to. Yeah, exactly. It's a lot like game design in that respect. Can I just rocket it? Well, the answer is yes, but it costs. Is that my blood? Am I becoming one of them? Well, judging by my ability to explode myself, I'm clearly becoming one of these dipshit soldiers. I really wish that the uh, trigger button didn't switch. As far as I can... I keep thinking throw satchel is left click and detonate satchel is right click, but it seems like it changes. Yeah, left click is throw the first satchel and then detonate all satchels, and then right click throws additional, which is just bad design. A phrase I'm throwing around a lot today, but that I don't think is unfair. Right. Suck on that. I mean, From Software kind of do have horrible landmines in some of their games. Have you played uh, Dark Souls 2? That has horrible landmines in it. They are horrible pots that curse, that scream and curse you if, you if you break them, and they are very easy to break. Which is, as we all know, the realistic medieval equivalent of a landmine. Of course, the real realistic medieval equivalent of a landmine was a man named Hans hiding in a hole with a, uh, a reed matting over the top of him with a short, sharp stick. We joke about landmines, but like, to be honest, I do think that landmines in real life are one of the most horrible, unethical, evil things to have ever been invented, especially considering the point at which people realized it was more efficient to blow someone's foot off and not kill them because that would render the rest of their friends vulnerable while they try to help the one poor guy. I don't know what that did. See, this is another aspect of the uh, people in video games doing shit constantly that doesn't make any goddamn sense. Half the time, you have no reason to do any of the things that you do. Oh, I'm stuck. You've got no reason to do any of the things you do. You just press every button until you find the solution, which is not really how human logic works in real life. You just get super stuck behind a truck forever. This is a lot like driving on the freeway, as I understand it. Not that I've ever driven or been to America. Oh, I see another one. None can hide from my sight. Eventually all will fall. Eventually all will suffer my divine retribution. Especially this spinny motherfucker. Wow, that guy took two shots. The iron head crab. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like, I can't even remember what game it was. Oh no, I do remember. When I was streaming... Resident Evil 7, uh, 8 rather, I noticed that there was this one point where, for absolutely no reason whatsoever, instead of trying any of the many, many other corridors available to you, the thing you have to do is crawl out on a rickety, um, what do you call it, uh, what the dicks? Ah, oh, sneaky, huh? Crawl out onto a rickety crane. Crawl to the end of the crane and then activate a thing on it, which would let, which would extend the crane, and then you could jump, uh, jump off the other end of the crane. And what you had to do was do that, which doesn't make any sense because even in that game, hurling yourself into the void pointlessly is not what you need to do to progress at any other point. And yet, the protagonist just knows that this is what he needs to do. Well, yes, Ethan Winters is in fact, you know, more mushroom than man, and yet somehow. Even for him, it's illogical. Ah, I see how it is. Wait, can I drive this? That would be... Oh, hello. Hi there. A secret, perhaps? 
I mean, I can't get through there, and that door seems to be locked as hell, so I guess I do have to go down here. You know, it's... Oh, that's just so you can get back up if you fall down like some kind of fool. Some kind of idiot. Some kind of... me. Also, yeah, I can't remember if I said this yet, but if... Uh... Oh, I just... I... okay, I just can open that door. One of the few doors that Gordon is allowed to open. Oh, that ain't good. That's not promising. This is what we in the business call a bad sign. I probably should remember to actually just reload all of my guns. I always forget until I run out in the middle of combat and then I die because I was in the middle of reloading my stupid crossbow. And it is a stupid crossbow. It's a dumb crossbow. It's a really mediocre idea for a crossbow. I'm I'm sorry, crossbow. You don't deserve that. You're fine. You're a perfectly adequate weapon. Tau cannon. Now that's what we're talking about. Yeah, see, that's what I'm talking about. There's no, there's no, there's not really the idea yet that any of these spaces should be designed in such a way that they look or feel like real spaces. They are given spaces, uh, they are given the trappings of real spaces to a greater degree than games had previously, and they are given things like scripted events to give them narrative meaning and so on, which is also a clever idea. Oh, it's ninjas. And yet, um... That's not going to be a good idea. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I think I got her. <laughs> yes, this game's uh, this game's one nod to the design parameters of. Ow, shit! The mid nineties. The beloved Titty Ninja. Extremely fast. Apparently, they go invisible if sometimes on the harder difficulties, which sucks as a thing for them to do, really. Maybe I should be- oh, fuck. Maybe I should be fuck. And other fun phrases. Oh, that's one chunky salsa, and that's missed. Hey, how about you run around this corner? Actually, it's just occurred to me that this might actually be... Nice. Nice. Well done. Good job. Drinks all around. <laughs> Give her a fucking medal if you can find enough of her to scrape together to pin it to. Is there another one? I bet there's another one. Yeah, they do have crab energy, I think. I don't know if you've ever tried to chase a crab on the beach, but one, they really don't want to be chased, and two, they scuttle. They scuttle in a way that I find these women eerily reminiscent of. Right, least useful kind of explosive. I will use... Oh, 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 ah. Fuck, shit, Jesus Christ, where did that come from? I swear to God she was not visible. I can hear her, but I'm not on the harder difficulty. I'm on, like, what, 2.5 or whatever it was? I'm getting shot. Oh, I bet she's high up somewhere. There she is. Well, that's a waste of a grenade. Fortunately, I have found these. I wonder if I smash these, she'll path down to me. Because if she paths down to me, ouch! I'm just gonna take. I'm just gonna take the low road. Didn't know they could do that. There we go. The low road traditionally is um, two buckshot shells to the face. How come I can't have a silence pistol? I want a silence pistol. Is that the same? <laughs> That's nice. I think that's the same grenade model as as we have. It's just downscaled and put on their put on their belt. So they have these weirdly high res grenades on their on their low res utility belts. That's delightful. What I find interesting about the crates is that you only ever get one useful item out of them, and the particle effects for the smashed crate include whatever was in that crate. So what you'll get is a crate full of boots and CD ROMs and also one med kit for some reason. Like, what company is fulfilling these orders? It makes me think of all of the kind of Tory corruption that we've had in the pandemic. Giving out a... Giving out a... A, a cushy contract to fulfill... Um, you know, COVID protections for NHS doctors. And uh, yeah, you crack open the crates and it's just full of old boots. 
and then someone reports it and old, old floppy haired Boris is just like, ah well, you know, that's just how it is. People are like that sometimes. It's definitely not anything that we should investigate with the police or anything because I, I gave my crony permission. It's all good. Oh, I love to be a corrupt plutocrat. Ha 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 ha. Honestly, I will never forgive. Uh, you know what? I'll never forgive a lot of people who should frankly just be fucking dead. Um, but let's move on from being political. Because otherwise, I might say something actionable. This seems like a room which is going to explode me if I'm not careful. Oh, dicks. This seems like a dude who's going to explode me if I'm not, if I'm not careful. And his friend. Old Mikey stands behind, they call him. Because he's always standing behind everybody. A whole swarm of the damn things today. Right, now that all of your sodium channels have been disintegrated, I am gonna... How did he survive? Are these bits of him? Because they look like the worms from the water levels. Also, I'm weirdly good at impressions. I'm not sure why. I apologize, Mr. Freeman. I couldn't risk opening that door until I was sure you'd scoured the area. This is the last entrance to the Lambda Complex. Every other has been sealed off to contain the invasion. When we realized that you might actually make it here, we drew straws to see who should stay behind to let you through. Obviously, I drew the short one. My colleagues are waiting at the tip of the Lambda Reactor. Waiting for you, I mean. The reactor is shut down right now, but you can activate it on your way up. You'll have to flood the core anyway to get into the teleportation labs. You're not authorized to know about those. But I can see you already know a great deal more than any one man is supposed to. Damn, I'm not supposed to know about the teleportation labs? Maybe you shouldn't have done so much fucking teleporting. Yeah, you're right, he does have weirdly stubby legs. Um, but what the fuck is up with that? There's this insistence that you're not supposed to know about the teleportation lab as well. Why the fuck? What were we doing in what were we doing in the uh, in the ordinary test chamber where the resonance cascade happened? Because if that wasn't to do with the teleportation experiments and the teleportation experiments were happening elsewhere, what the fuck is up with that? Or was I supposed to be some kind of unwitting patsy involved in like another teleportation experiment? Like they were doing small scale teleporting before, and now they're doing you know big big scale teleportation. Yeah, exactly. You, you, you guys do not respect me. You know that, right? That is the expression of a man who does not respect me. Ooh, I love to climb on explosives. That's never resulted in me getting murdered. Well, he said we're not supposed to know about the, quote, teleportation labs. Unquote. Is this the first little, first little, first little, little bit of, ah, oh, dick. <laughs> the first little bit of dick. Um, the first little bit of nice, convenient uh, user accessibility is what I was gonna say. After making me climb a million stairs and ladders. Test firing chamber? That sounds fun. So I think we're actually nearing the end of this game now. Um, we just got to do teleportation lab stuff, reactor turning on. <gasps> I built the glue on gun, but I just can't bring myself to use it on a living creature. You don't look as if you have any trouble killing things. You know, you guys have nothing but disrespect for me. It is really consistent at this point. Oh, Gordon Freeman, go kill all that shit. Oh, Gordon Freeman, you suck because you kill stuff. You know, you guys need to make up your fucking minds. Am I a monster because I kill stuff or do I do your fucking dirty work? You... Clean-handed motherfucker. Anyway. <laughs> that brief diatribe aside. I'm actually... Whoa. Did you guys teleport those in there specifically to be targets for the gluon gun that you then couldn't fire? What was the point of putting them in a little metal box and then not killing them? You know it was just going to starve in there, right? I don't see how this is any less cruel. Oh, it really sucks up that uh, that electro juice there. Really eats through the depleted uranium. Although, you know, I suppose it's nice of them to have figured out a, you know, ethical use for the toxic waste left over by uh, 
by uranium usage. Yeah, yeah, we inv we invented this horribly destructive weapon for killing things. Bzzzt. Well, I mean, I didn't mean like that. Or maybe he just maybe he's just like one of those weird animal rights activists who considers it perfectly fine to murder people but not to kill animals. You know, that guy works that guy is like secretly a member of PETA or something. Oh. You know, I really I really had it wrong about these guys. I, I keep assuming that they're here to hurt and here to harm, but they were clearly doing CPR on that guy. They were trying to bring him back. You know, I should maybe think a bit more about my shoot first, ask questions later attitude. The death ray is more ethical than using it for bullets because um, using it for bullets means that that radioactive substance is just lying around the environment, poisoning people for decades. You know, the places it was used in Afghanistan, I want to say, by the American military, are, are still poisoned by it to this day. Whereas the glue-on gun and the uh, Tau cannon don't seem to have any kind of juicy... Juicy, juicy ionizing leftovers to fuck people up eternally. So logically, you know, if you can, if you can just like can cause it to zap out of existence in exchange for a useful bit of directed energy weaponry, that that is technically better. Like, like it's bad to make a weapon, but if you're gonna make a weapon, at least make a weapon that sucks radioactive material out of the world. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not saying they don't make weapons that cause environmental catastrophes. I'm saying that specifically the Tau Cannon and the Gluon Gun don't make environmental catastrophes because we can observe that they do not. Ow. No, I'm afraid I'm not interested in going clubbing with you. You know, these bees are way more effective for them than they are for me. So I think in this area there's two things I need to go turn on. I wasn't really listening to that scientist, which I have to assume is also the attitude Gordon himself is taking at this stage. Probably, but I bet it won't. Oh, hey, is there something on that box? <gasps> Bullets. Don't need those ones. <laughs> Excellent, yes, good pun. Also, yeah, I love the idea of the Zen scientist who's like, I successfully have mutated my hand into a bee gun. I intend to use it for defense on hunting bears. Bro, I was not listening. What did you want me to do? Don't turn your back on me. Yes, let's go. Okay. Anyway. What the fuck was I talking about? Um, you know what? I don't remember. But this is another example of that sort of weird, weird uh, linear narrative design where people always serendipitously happen to just end up where they're supposed to be to solve the problem, and it doesn't actually make any sense narratively or logistically within the, the fictional world. Which is fine. Like, I enjoy it just plenty. But it is really kind of ridiculous how many of these characters just happen to fall into wherever they need to be at exactly the right time to do whatever it is they need to do. It's, um, you know, nobody ever makes the decision to save the world, apparently. Oh, fuck, are you still here? Have I been that much of a burden? Well, no, but that guy will fucking murder you. Unless I murder him. <laughs> There's just nothing left. Wowzers. You know, supposedly they train the they train the, these uh, Zen grunt infantry pretty carefully, but um, under pressure they just go all to pieces. But um, <laughs> oh, I mean, yeah, it is implied. It is implied in this one specifically that the correct sequence of events is all down to G-Man uh, manipulating things behind the scene and doing weird godling bullshit and. Um, all kinds of uh, fucked up nonsense, but but for all other shooter protagonists, it doesn't actually make any sense. Uh, oh, it's a guy. 
What do we do to guys? This. Oh, there's another one. Fuck. Well, that's the least effective weapon I could have picked, but <laughs> I've got to stick with it now. Because you know what they say, right? Stick to your guns. Did I headshot that guy? With my, with my last hit? But yeah, so generally speaking, I find that kind of narrative design really dissonant just because it doesn't actually make any sense. The fact that there is this vague implication that an, that an extra dimensional weapons merchant is using you as some kind of um, divine tool to extract changes in the universe is, um, is fine. Like, I appreciate that just fine. But all of the millions of games that this game inspired did not bother to do that. And they, are generally, have, they generally have protagonists who are just guys doing stuff. Who just happen to be in the right place, you know. The debris always just happens to fall just so, so that there's a hole for you to crawl through that leads you to the complex you need to be in to solve the problem rather than any of the other 15 annexes your enormous research station has. And so on. I'm gonna have to take a swim in that, aren't I? I'm absolutely gonna have to take a swim in that. It's oh, oh. Okay. Pump 01 is now Pump 0 on. Tank 01 is lit. Fam, I guess. Oh, that feels bad. Jesus, this guy nearly telefragged me. Anyway, can I just go turn on the other pump and not have to crawl through the fucking thing? I always end up having to do a lot of backtracking in this section, although, as I've said, it's been ages since I actually played this game, so I might be misremembering. Ah, that's what we call a shortcut. They do, they look really pleasing. The gentle glow of Sharonkov radiation. You know. Like it's it's actually safe to go swimming in the cool in the cool like the, the cooling pools of a nuclear reactor, provided you don't get too close to the bottom. But Oh, do I need to Oh, auxiliary tank reactor access? Did I come through this way already? But yeah, I do think I do think that that actual like the gentle blue of Sharonkov radiation is is really pleasing. I think I have to come through here, maybe. I know I have to swim through some of these at some point. Like it's just a really pleasing blue. Definitely shouldn't be breathing in here though. Can I get in there? Is there something useful? <laughs> Are these the control rods? What the fuck am I doing? Cool and flow from system zero two. Got to open this boy up. Or not? Did that even do anything? What the fuck am I supposed to do here? That does nothing. Can I smash it with my with my smashing arm? It does remind me of a nice swimming pool. Remind me someday someone to um. To, oh, that did something. Remind me someday to show you all the uh, um, custom areas I made in The Sims 4. A game I am inordinately fond of. Is it this one now? Did I do that one already? This is a, this is a mystery, folks. Well, there's only two valves and switching them again doesn't seem to be changing anything. What am I missing, I wonder? Or maybe I had to turn the pump- oh, okay, I bet I had to go turn the pump on and then swim in through here. And then once I have both of the pumps on, I can turn them both on in here, and then that'll let me swim up through the inside of the reactor, I guess? Because, god forbid these people actually just build a fucking Jeffrey's tube. Star Trek had it right. There should just be little- little holes everywhere that let you go places. I met this guy before. Oh, this doesn't help at all. Pump one and tank one are lit up. Pump tank two and pump two, and then in the core. Yeah, I think I'm right about that. Incidentally, I should probably start uh, putting up the new poll about what uh, what game I should stream next. Or actually, maybe I'll just make a decision. You know, for once in my damn life. Whoa! I must be doing something right, or there would not be additional enemies. 
That's how video games work, right? Can those guys set off explosives? With their stupid bees and then lightning bolts. I guess if these guys are the wizard class, these guys are the warrior class. <laughs> Coolant zero one, coolant zero two. It's zero two that I need to do, I guess. Tanko two. But these lead to the same place. These lead around to the same room. Ah, haha, -ha, no they don't. Alright, well fuck you too, Black Mesa. World's least convenient uh Well the only thing less convenient than trying to traverse Black Mesa is trying not to die from bees. I'd love to see like a Duke Nukem style protagonist for this game fully voiced. Fortunately, I'm not allergic to bees. That's it. That's the best I've got. That's all you're going to get out of me today. <laughs> Could this even be any more Mesa? Oh, whoa, oh, Jesus Christ. Or indeed, Beezus Christ. But, uh, yeah, what the fuck was I talking about? Because I don't remember. That was, that was actually pretty tight timing. If that, if that thing had caught me, I would have died almost instantaneously. But yeah, I've, I'm weirdly good at uh, voices. I can't for the life of me remember what it was, but I mimicked something per perfectly in a way that made my flatmate very amused recently. God only knows what it was, or possibly she does. Um, that being another option. Anyway, I think I'm going to try and get these systems switched on, and then call it a call it a night. Because my God, I'm tired, and it's been a while since I streamed, so my voice is getting sore. Well, that seems to have solved this problem. I bet I can take a shortcut through here. Oh, that's where the that's where the grates are, of course. I suppose they feel there's this weird combination of kind of a desire to have logic be in the environment and a total disregard for environmental logic. So they build these spaces that don't make any sense for the spaces they're supposed to be representing in real life. But you know they've got to have the the big hole for stuff to be in. You know, you've got to have the water level. I mean, I suppose it does provide the information for the player so that they can see that... Um, what the fuck is this doing, anyway? So that they can see that the water level is changing and therefore figure out the solution to the puzzle. But it's also like, well, you know, they might fall down there, so therefore there has to be a ladder for them to get back out again. And it's like, well, you didn't have to have this here at all. There's a decision you made, my good friend. I actually loved Alien Isolation. I have played it through exactly once, shortly after it came out. Um, primarily through the clever system of having my girlfriend sit next to me and also watch her long while I play, and she was terrified. Which gave me the emotional fortitude to uh, make it through, since I could be strong for her. Which is fun. Um, I have thought about putting that on the list, and it would be very fitting for Halloween. However... There's a few things on the list, and I, I think that unlike the last time where I just streamed whatever people voted for the most, I think I'm going to suggest a few things and then, you know, take people's opinions into consideration but make my own decision because something else I'd really like to stream before too much longer is um, The Outer Wilds. I actually, I actually, I'm think, I've been thinking about doing a let's play of it instead of just a a stream. Because I do consider the two to be different disciplines. I think that's um I think that they're similar but but they're you know, the stuff I make is different. My streams are not the same in tone or style or content as my as my YouTube Let's Plays. And that's fine. Unlike that. <laughs> This is going to get on my nerves. So 
can jump over that. Where's the next one coming? Can I jump over this one? No. This might take a minute. I do want to do some I do want to do a horror game for Halloween. What if I just go the other way? What if I what if I let it chase me? And then I go up this way. Haha. -ha. It's really hard to see where it's gone. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> I keep forgetting I can quick save. If I quick save here, I won't have to worry about dying stupidly when I try and get through here. Woo! Lambda core reactor level D. Success. This feels like the next zone, so after I check what's in the supply closet and Oh boy, it's a lot of stuff. Wow, this seems radioactive as shit. I am going to call it a night right here. So. Um, God, it's been so long. What is my ending sp spiel anyway? Um, drop me a follow here on Twitch. Or if you're watching this on YouTube, why not subscribe to my channel? I forgot to do these sorts of call outs all the way through this entire stream, but that's fine. Who cares? Not me. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here. I hope you enjoyed it. Especially thank you to my, my handful of Patreon subscribers. I really appreciate it. And check on Twitter for the poll of what I'm going to be streaming next. And yeah, I think that's everything. Thank you so much for watching.